Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Cooter Villa channel. I'm Scott Cooper, and I'm here with Tommy Lazaridis and Noah Fisher to discuss Arsenal versus Aston Villa from the Emirates yesterday. Boy, that was a big, big win. We are in the fourth position. We are clear of Tottenham. That's got to be the win of the season, and we will be bringing you that and much more after this. <laughs> Okay, and welcome back to Coupe de Villa Live for another Monday night. And what a weekend it has been for Villa. Uh, we had Tottenham losing 4-0 to Newcastle. We had Man United drawing. They're out of the race for uh, uh, the Champions League. And we needed something, and boy, did we get it at the Emirates. And before we talk about it, we've got a little message from uh, Coupe de Villa family member, Owen um Owen Thompson from uh, Villa on Tour. He was there at the Emirates uh, yesterday. And Noah, run the video. Right. Hi, guys. It's Owen here from Villa on Tour. Uh, just got back, well, yesterday from my big old trip to Arsenal. Uh, wanted to talk quickly about the game, how we got on, moving on to next week, and our top four chances. Yes, and... Uh... <laughs> We will be hearing did more. We just, from, did we just uh, cut that off? Did we just cut Owen off? <laughs> no, that's it, just not how long the video is. That's, mate. That's, I, I, that's, I know that's I was late to join, boys, but come on. Owen deserves his 20 seconds of fame. Leave the man. Look, Owen. Owen wanted to join us live, but he couldn't make it. So he he, he cut us a few little videos and uh, we'll, we'll be playing them throughout the show. But, um, boys, that was uh, absolutely outstanding. Tommy, I'll go to you first um, because, oh. you know, I you know deep down I thought – you know, oh, you know, we, this was going to be tough. We was going to be uh, probably a painful match. But from the first moments, even when the lineup came out, I was thinking, you know what? This is very interesting because they made a few changes, yes. uh, which I thought was kind of disrespectful. Like, oh, you think you can play Havertz in uh, in midfield against us? Do you? Oh, you don't. You don't need our uh, Jorginho against us, do you? And um, our yeah. Our Evans lineup was, as well was very, very positive, and um, I really liked it. What did you think of the, uh, the think, lineups I mean, when they came I, out? I think Havertz was actually a menace for them most of the game, him and Odegaard. I'm surprised when they took Odegaard off. You know, I'm jumping ahead, but I felt like that. I went, they took Odegaard off. I, even I was like, the fuck's he doing? You know, and then they took mm. uh, Jesus and that. But look, this game I would compare as a man. It's like when you're about to see your first pair of titties, right? You don't know what to expect. You know what's in there. And you're just excited. And then you see them. They're definitely better than what you expected. And then, you know, it's just elation. And that was the game, honestly. I thought, oh, nil-nil, we're actually hanging on. And then the second half, right, I'm jumping way ahead. I'm like, yeah, we're in this okay. all of a sudden. We, we weathered that storm. You know, mm -hmm. Carlos single-handedly weathered the storm and Emmy. Um, you know, even just Marino at left wing. What a sub. Like, what a great move. You know, him and, and Digne, there's a bit of chemistry, camaraderie. He's defensive, so he's going to help out those times, those overlapping defensive runs. Um, and yeah, just when we got the first one, I said, okay, I think we've actually, we're going to see this out. I know it was going to be a dog fight, but, and then we get the second one, my man, Ollie, you know, I can't wait oh. to buy that fucking shirt. Can't wait to one spend all guy. that money. He oh. just keeps going. He just keeps going. But yeah, wow. that, that early pressure, you know, from Arsenal was intense, Noah. Um, they were playing very well. And, um, this is the best win of the season, in my opinion, just because against Man City, you could argue Man City were... Uh, not really at the races that game, and you know they were they were off it, even though we played really well. But we came up against an Arsenal team that were in top form, and for that first half an hour, played really well against us. But the way we kept the ball, the way we kind of 
kept to our philosophy and tried to play through their press and defended strongly. It just, I, it was just a masterpiece from Unai Emery again. Yeah, I thought getting to halftime nil nil was massive for us. I mean, we had a couple yeah. of chances that massive one with Oli that hit the post, but getting to halftime. Nil nil was massive. I go back to the city game when it was one one just before half time. We needed to get through to half time level. Um, and in that game we didn't. But in this game, Uno Emery Masterclass and Yep. Wow. We weathered the storm. Arsenal always gonna come hard. They're in a title race for a reason. Um, they're mm-hmm. up there. They have to, to go mm-hmm. back on, on top of the Premier League. And and as I said, they play well all season. They've just we've taken six points from them. So thank you very much, Arsenal. Um, but yeah, what a what a game. That's all I have to say on it, to be honest. My, my, my mate Joe, I don't want to interject. My mate Joe is a huge Joe Schiavello. I love you, Joe. He, Joe is a huge Crystal Palace fan. And he sent me a text this morning. He goes, mate, what a, what a time to be a villa at a palace. And I said, we've just disrupt, disrupted the, the top of the table all of a sudden. It's, a, it's an open race again, right? Absolutely. And I think... Um... Like, a lot of the pundits were saying, oh, you know, Arsenal will win every game and City will win every game and Liverpool will win every game, you know. But the Premier League's not like that. You've got to to turn up and you've got to, like, earn the right to play, even against the teams that are, like, mid-table or even, like, lower. So um, I always thought there was going to be twists and turns in in the title race, and I was really hoping that we would put one of those twists and turns and really stuff it in Arsenal's face because, yeah. you know, yeah. Unai Emery gets a lot of flack from their fans. I constantly hear, you know, where every time we drop points or lose a game, there's Arsenal fans in the comments saying, that, that's oh, what this, like. is, that's this what is, is Unai Emery. Yeah, this is yeah. this yeah. is what you're going to get. Good start to the season, but you're going to fall away. Well, guess what, boys? Yeah, We've done the dicks. double over you now, and um, you, you're, you're the ones that's fallen apart. Did- so... Did you see the rap video? They done an AI thing. Um, no, nah. I think I sent it to you on Instagram. Let me show you. It's it's you know Emery, but they've they've done a video of him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it going around. I think. Did you uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait. Watch, it's a rap video, and someone's yeah. called Emery as the AI. Watch this. <laughs> it's like Emery, Emery walking into Villa Park. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love it. Anyway. But um, um, but I saw, I saw yeah. Nick Thompson was there with Owen. I actually saw yep. him in the um on Hi, the game. Nick. I don't know if, I don't, yeah, hey Nick, um, don't know if anyone saw it, but where the players walk out the corner, I could see the uh, Villa on tour flag hanging down Owen. So I did see it in the game. Looked awesome. Nice and, and the a, and the away the away. Oh Mate. yeah, the away fans were fantastic. Um, Massive. When the Bailey went goal went in, just the noise like, and um. And Torres Look, as well doesn't get a shout out here. I think he was blocking out two defenders, so kind of deliberately just went across him. And I think he was hoping someone was at the back post. If he doesn't that make a, that run, we don't score. That was That's a great yeah, agreed. agreed, agreed, That's run. why Gabriel and that they both went to Torres, and it's just freed up lethal Leon at the back. Love that he went to celebrate with the fans. Yeah, and um, the, but let's talk about the first half. They finish yes. off that. Um, you know, we we weathered the storm. They had a few chances. Martinez made a good save from Havertz. There was oh, another one where there was another Trossard. one where Saka, yeah, Saka had a shot. But then there was the Ollie in the minute. There was a crazy minute where Ollie Watkins hits the post um, after a big mistake from Gabriel and Zinchenko, and then yes. we go. They went down the other end, and Emmy makes that save. And I mean, we've been talking about him all season, just bailing us out. He bailed us out against Lille uh, with some great saves there, and he just did it again. And we couldn't have had this victory without him. Absolutely not. And thanks Arsenal for selling him, uh, selling him to us. Was it 12 million pounds around that mark? Um, worth every single cent someone of said, that. Someone said Emmy Martinez is Mr. Big Game, but he's not consistent. Oh, I disagree. I think he's probably mm. one of our most consistent. He probably goes under the radar at times. I mean, every goalkeeper has a, a blunder here and there, but... All in all, like I feel like now that the defense and the rest of the team are performing well, the pressure's actually off him, so there's not as much bot. Like, trust me, if we're struggling, he'd be he'd be getting three votes every game. Yeah, and you know, um, you know, sometimes with a, as a goalkeeper, you've got to go long periods without doing anything. And but when when he when it counts, oh. he sticks he sticks that leg out. And, and, and I mean, not only was it a, a leg, it was a strong yeah. leg that kept it out. And um, that and then was he came huge. out and plucked one. I think it was. Would have been second half. There was one where just I think it was Zinchenko putting one in. He's just come out and plucked it like nothing. And then he had three yeah. Arsenal players around him. Just the confidence. He just oozes confidence. And 
One thing I'd actually say is I think all of the all of the ball playing has has really come together. I think we've come together at the right time. I really hope this is now the pin dropping and we just go on this tear end of, to, towards the end of the season. I'm seeing a lot of commentary. Um, Adam Lockhart, actually, I saw him commentating a few others saying, we need to watch out for Newcastle. Yes, they have a good run of fixtures, but we're 10, 13 points ahead of them and we've got some pretty winnable games too, right? Um, That's anything, it. I mean, I, I, I want to be playing Liverpool right now at this time of the year. Like nobody banked on these three points. I mean, even the oh. most optimistic Villa fan would have thought, you know, maybe a draw if we're lucky, probably a, probably a loss, right? But um, to get the three points here, that just like frees us up for these few games coming up. It's relaxation, this, Scott. Exactly. I, th I think we're going to go to France and, and win it now. After that, I think we, we yeah. go in with I think we're huge busting. confidence. And then Bournemouth at home next week. I mean, they're a good team, but... You know, I, I think this could really set us up and um it it's 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 not just the result, the performance as well, just the and um there's well, let's highlight a few people that stood out starting with man of the match, uh Diego Carlos Noah. Um his best game in a villa shirt has Colossal. to be right. Colossal. Two man of the he matches against Arsenal, amazing. actually. He got it last game as well against them. I think he did, yeah. He he, did. Yeah, he's, he's got he's, it. He's immense. So and he like, just I think against, prime for all. against City as well. He was insane for us as well. Like he's he's the, a big game. Those player. big games, he he's yep. he's up for it. And obviously he he would he would have been gutted. He would have been absolutely gutted when it came to that Brentford result because he was probably not at fault, but wasn't at the races for a couple of the goals and and stuff. So all the hard yeah. work gets erased by one it, little silly error. Just it, not no, being exactly in the right that. Position. And he was at it for ninety minutes, definitely for the first forty five as well. He was immense for that, and it just proves why we signed him. Although, or why Gerard signed him and. Mm. And after that, a massive Achilles injury, we weren't too sure how he was going to come oh. back. Um, and he's come back even better than what we could have thought. So the it was fantastic. Just on, just on that, Noah, the Premier League's a long season, right? And I actually think right now, come into season, our signing of the season has to be Yuri Tillemans. I think he's just hit straps at the right time. Um, he's playing full minutes in a, in a more defensive role. And I think he's played it really well. I actually probably trust him on the ball better than I did Kamara, even though Kamara's better defensively. I think no mm. one's better than Tillemans. You know, that assist, no one else is playing that ball or seeing that pass to Oli, right? Like you yeah. do it one second late, he's over the halfway line. Chris Pass. Yeah, and um, before and even before that, he oh, has an unbelievable shot, yeah. um, which comes like about an hour into the game where we've come out in the second half and we Blitzing. were dominating possession. Yes. Like we had about 60, 65% possession in that second half. And the, I mean, the way, you know, he tackles the guy, first of all, to win the ball back after the corner was a poor corner, got cleared and he, he wins the ball back and then just rattles the post and bar yeah. with, an unbelievable. Could have crossed it. Could have crossed it. But that shot, nah, I think, you know, you're excused. Even feeding the post, like you are well excused, Yuri, for that. I thought it was going in. I thought yeah, it was going in. I hit, could not believe no, it. Two, it hit two fucking bars, the crossbar and then the side post. So yeah, I think just back, back on the, getting the two points right now, we're energized, there's relaxed. Not the points. The second half performance, we weathered the storm. Mm. I think we were actually the better side second half. Now all their Absolutely. fans are going to come in with hate, um, probably because they're frustrated now that they've, you know, shit the bed and not going to win the league anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I think like well, the way better side second half the last two three minutes, you know, when the fans were just going, Hey, hey, we're more passing it around, we oh, embarrassed them so good. when it mattered, yeah. you know, that's so good. And, and um, we didn't weather many storms once we went up 2 0 either, right? I'm like, it's not like no. they're just banging at us, but yeah, we parked the bus kind of, but you know, they didn't really make the most of it. Emmy wasn't really yeah. tested. No. I think Emmy had one save from Jesus in the second half, um, yes. yeah. and it was a pretty comfortable. It was a pretty comfortable one, and we were we were the team playing the football. They were getting desperate and desperate, and um, you know, Jeff says here that you could see on the the um, the the body language of of the Arsenal players, they were getting desperate. The fans as well. I think yeah. with with um, Palace beating Liverpool, they had this big. Oh, we're going to win. We're going to go top of the table, and then as the game goes on, and they're like, "Uh oh, we're up for the those, fight." We're up it for could the be fight. One of those days in the Premier League where crazy stuff happens, and um, and then you know uh, we get the Luca Dinia gets the ball on the left. Noah gets gets the ball in, and uh, Leon Bailey, what a what an a, a, a impact off the bench for him, and he's been doing that all season, scoring big goals and in big moments, and he did it again. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, nine Premier League goals this season for him now. And look, I know it was an open net, but that's not an easy finish either, in my it's opinion. The ball on his right foot. Pace, right foot. And he took it really well, straight into the 
into the ground, skidded it through, and the away end, just the sound of them when that ball hits the back of the net was just oh, was just immense. Um, mm. I have to give a shout to Zaniol. I think Nick's just kind of said it here, but you said it. he was very, very good. Um, I'd say one of his best games in the ship by far. I know he had to go off at the end because he's probably cooked more than anything, but he was my man of the match. Like, I just yeah. thought the the strength. The, t- the I mean, it was close. It could have been Tillemans. It could have been Carlos. Yeah. I just think that the the confidence and the strength to I mean, they had to drag Ben White. You know, yes. he came he came off because Tommy he Asu. was getting a- he was getting absolutely rinsed on that left hand side for Villa, and um, he was just the way he gets the ball and he 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 faces up the um the fullback and says, "Come on, get the ball off me." You know, he's got that that arrogance, that swagger. And he's playing so well at the moment. I just and I'm starting to think we should keep him if we can. I, I would love to. And and he, like I said, he rinsed Ben White, who I think is probably one of the right backs of the potential for the season, right? Because yeah. Trippier's been out all year, and yeah, he had to get dragged. And I thought when White got that yellow card, I said just give it to Zaniolo, let him go to work, and it was either get a great cross in, do something positive, or he won. I think he won two, three corners at least. Yeah, um, one. Yeah, one corners, one throwing. I think one free kick. A lot. I, yeah, I think someone else that flew, someone that's flying under the radar but always gets honourable mentions is Morgan Rogers. Wow, what a I, play I knew, you, I knew you were going to say it. You I, knew you, I was going to say If there were five, unbelievable. I, I, general consensus when it came to votes, everyone said honourable mentions. I'd say Emmy, Carlos, Tillman, Zaniola, Rogers, everyone would probably agree with that. These yeah. five for me stood out. Watkins and Bailey, yeah, but just all these others. You McG- just, just McGinn as well. McGinn yeah, as again, well. Again, they always special. buzz. You know what I mean? But, I think just... I think just because yeah. when you're so good and so consistent, you just kind of get left out, right? Like, but yeah. Rogers, I think we're paying more attention to him. Someone said we should probably give Middlesbrough another five million. We absolutely rob them. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I think I think Tommy has a new favorite player, Scott. I think so, and he actually looks like <laughs> Ramsey, who could be sold in the summer. So, and so he's, well, a, so he's you're another saying. one. He's another one that just picks up, naturally picks up these spaces, and good where spots. he can get where he can get the ball and run at the defense, and um, you know. Because we've got you know a team that likes to play it out from the back. When we get past that first press, if we can get someone like him or Zaniolo or Bailey or Diaby on the ball, we just look so dangerous going forward. And it's like, yeah. it's yeah. it's unbelievable. And um, you know, uh, we, to weather the storm and to and to a lot of teams would have crumbled in that first half an hour and started just kicking the ball long, and it would have come straight back. You know, but we kept playing these little passes and kept trying to keep the ball and um you know that's that's just credit to Unai Emery again who um must have really enjoyed his uh his ride home on the bus and his uh ah. a- analytics on the laptop did, did you guys see the post match interview something i haven't heard him say in a while when they interviewed him they Unai he goes good evening and he kind of laughed and then started scratching himself to stop himself from <laughs> laughing it was a deliberate it was a deliberate j- jab trust me of all teams he hasn't said good evening in months yeah, he normally says like "Good afternoon." Good or afternoon. Hello, you know? or, yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, but, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. He he He's does amazing. love scratching his face when he talks. He does. He does that yeah. quite a bit. Mate, after the United <laughs> game, when we were on like sixty points, he's like, "It's amazing." Yeah, <laughs> he just loves saying stuff like that. Like, he just loves it. But the tactics. But yeah, I heard one him- person that said like, "Um, sorry one one interviewer said, oh, is this personal? Does you know?'" And he goes, "No, it's not about me. It's about Aston Villa." And I love that, you know, I love yeah. that kind of attitude. And, you know, I hear people saying now, you know, it's it's so weird because, like, we lose to Tottenham, we, you know, we're going to fall out the top four. Our season is done. We've fallen off a cliff. You know, we beat Arsenal. And now they're saying, oh, man, United should come for Emery, you know. But I don't think he'd go even if they offered I it. I think he knows, Scott. Because- I think he knows. There's just so much pre- more pressure on other clubs. If Villa can probably get away with things. Like, you know, we had, I think, we were three losses in a row. Some other clubs, they'd sack you for that, right? Mm. Joining later, sorry, still busting. Fantastic, thanks, Gene. Thanks, Gene, uh, and, thank, and thanks everyone. Get your questions in, um, you know, get your comments in. Yes. How do you think you play? Who was your man of the match? You know, ah, there's so many I, options. I have a little, I have a little question, Scott. And okay, you know, I was watching the Bayern Lever- Bayer Leverkusen celebration. Don't know if anyone saw it. All the players jumped on, and Florian Wirtz and all that are getting in there with the fans, and that's what it's about, right? No one's going to stab you, right? Let's be real. Um, so sure. you know. I look back and reflect on our season and there's probably easy 10 to 15 points that we've just pissed away this season from winning positions. And I'm talking being up 2-0, 
comfortable in possession. Brentford game's another one, right? That's two gone. United. Yep. I said, could we have been in this title race? The re- reality is this season's wide open. There's no clear-cut favourite. We could we could have been. We we absolutely. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not bullshitting. Like I said, like, nah. we, and 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 I think we've taken a tour. We beat City, Liverpool, and Arsenal within a week or whatever, right? Like, don't tell me we can't do it. It, was, well, it would have been like a Liverpool Leicester start. season. Nah, it's right. oh, I mean, uh, yeah, I think I think we got to just cool the jets there a little bit. I mean, Come on, no, yeah, but look, technically, Scott. In I'm resi- just saying, technically, we've, we've pissed ten points. to fifteen points away, and with United we're 10 twice, off first. Sheffield United, we dropped points when we should have. Beaten I know, them. but we haven't really been consistent. We had an unbelievable no. period. Oh, and, a, know, and a disappointing period, you know. Like we, you know, we've got to get that bit more consistent. Where, yeah. you know, we can sort of, I, you know, focus in, win games here and there. I mean, we're, you know, it's 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 diff- it's going to be difficult. But look, we're we're progressing, and if we if we finish in the Champions League, and we it's have, sick. if we can go to Real Madrid or have AC Milan or come to Villa Park or something like that, can you imagine? Like how amazing that's going to be, and I mean it's not done yet, but I think top five could be almost done. And you know, maybe we, you know we we did um we didn't do Arsenal a favor a favor in the title race, but they could do us a favor in the top five Champions League race on Wednesday night if they could knock out Bayern. So you know who knows. <laughs> the check for Benford. Never forget who started this journey, Doctor Tony. Right. Miss you, well, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> he started a journey, all right? He started a journey towards I think bankruptcy. He, I, think, I, think, I think he was the reason financial fair play came in. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough to it, to be honest. Yeah. Miss you, oh. <laughs> oh, But, you know, in a way, like, um, you know, all things happen oh. for a reason, and we lost that playoff final against Fulham. And um, since then, everything's just gone so well. We brought in Dean Smith. We got the new owners. And uh, we got promoted, and we've been progressing every year. Stayed up, then sort of worked our way up the year, up the league. Had a bit of a dip with Gerard, but Uno we're Emery's here. come in, and wow, like um, we're we're set up now for a, a great finish to the yeah. year. I mean, we got this game against Lille on Thursday night. I can't wait. You know, oh, I think God. we're going to go in, and if we can play the similar kind of football that we played. You know, I think we'll beat them or get the result we need to go get, through. That's all we need to do is get the result we need, Scott. Mm. That's, that's all you got to do. What are your thoughts on this question here from Nick? What are your thoughts on this one? Sell Ramsey. Well, I think if we make Champions League, we're fine in terms of FFP. Um, and even, you know, there's a lot of people saying that these numbers that are being put around saying that we're in, you know, a little bit of trouble are kind of overrated because... I think that, you know, our realistic um, expectation at the start of the season would have been Europa League, right? If we can finish yeah. Europa League. So I'm not, I don't think these owners spent beyond, you know, I don't think they're like that. But I no. mean, if it is true that we're, we are a little bit behind, then the this 40 FFP, to 60 this million Champions League is going to be massive for us. It's going to be absolutely mm. massive. And I'm pretty keen. Like, I still think we probably let a couple of people go in the summer. I reckon if who we have you, to rebuy, who, 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 who do you think's going? No, realistically, no bullshit. Realistically, I don't know. Uh technically, like probably sell Dendonka when he comes back. That's I don't know how much we have yeah. for him, but there's money there. Sanson, I think his buy clause goes through in the summer. Even though he's still at the club, there you go, no. Yeah, he's on loan, but there's might, players like that. Might get a run, we, might get a run. But I'm saying there's players like that that they're, they're going to add a tiny little bit of money to this. I think if we get Archer. Back, which I think we have to if they get relegated. We'll get 10 mil for him. Yeah, I don't know. Then I, I reckon we'll get... flip him. I reckon we'll sell him again. I, I think we're, you know, I don't think we need Archer as much as I was upset when we sold him. I, I really like Duran as a backup, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Okay, I've got a question. I've got a question for you two. And this is, this could be a bit of a, an unpopular question, but are we better saying. without Douglas Louise, Louise in the middle of midfield? Yeah, Yes, we are. I knew you were going to Sometimes say Sometimes we are. Sometimes we are. But, Joe, this is the first time we've played without him or Kamara since we mm. beat Norwich 2-0 at Villa Park. So and I would Brian say which played. position is more important? Can we play Tillemans in a more advanced role in Luisa's spot? Absolutely. Do we need better replacement for Kamara than Dendonka? Absolutely. That's where the money should be spent. And, and a solid player on the left. Zaniolo is good, mm. but... I, I still think it's got to be like a like a you know I don't know someone that everyone feels and a right gonna, back so and, could, a, right, and so, a right back so, because yeah. I think Pretty the bomb. one the one guy who struggled yesterday was probably Conta. I thought he's not a right. He was a bit shaky at times. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, they brought on Martinelli. I thought he shut him down pretty well, Conta. Yeah, I, I think saw the, the game. I saw the that run with, with, with Bailey. I'm like, what's going on here? Conta bombing down. And then he just lacked that final product. Yeah, I think that was it. Like Some of the passing was a little bit off, especially in the first half. As the game wore on, he got better and better. But um, we haven't spoken about the second goal yet. Let's talk about that. Ollie Watkins, hey, um, 19 my boy, goals my boy. in the Premier League this season. Um, and it wasn't just the run, keep himself in his own half. Um, just the, the coolness at the end to dink it over the keeper and, you know, just the scenes in the crowd and in the away end. I mean, what a finish and what 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 a season he's having. I'll let the super fan... Tommy, speak on this one first, who loves, has always loved Ollie Watkins. Um, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Ah, oh, sorry. Tom, yeah, there was a little shortage. Tommy, uh, we've I'll always, have to go we've, first, what a finish. Bad opinions in football. I can't, but, I can't. Um, right, if you go back, if you go back to the podcast, he shot his first goal, Chelsea away. I said to you, he'll, I said he'll get above 16 goals. Yep. And okay. he's on 19. What do, saying, you what, do you want, go- what do you want, a gold you star, a foot massage? I'm... What do you want, Noah? <laughs> Give you me want? whatever you mis- want, mate. You're the oracle, you, mate. You also it's... said we beat Brentford 5 0. But uh, I did say I that. Said, because I, also I, was Brent, I also said Brentford would be in trouble this season, and no one believed me. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back to that second yeah, goal. No, what no, a finish so from, from first Watkins. And... A massive, and this on behalf of Ollie, who shared on his Insta, big fuck you to Troy Deeney, who said he's a winger. And Ollie Watkins responded with, not bad for a winger. Hey, Troy. Oh, that was so that. Good. yeah. Yeah, he so said, he, he, said, he said he's a he's a winger pretending to be a striker or something. Well, did so anyone see good. Ollie Watkins's post on Instagram? And I just saw all the comments. It was like Pau Torres, what a player, Gabby, Rogers, everyone's just getting behind him. I think he said something. I think it was the comment about being a winger. Um just just mm. the goal. No, he said he said something like everyone who doubted me. Yeah, it just makes me want to play better or something like the that. The criticism and and the criticism after his his England performance against Brazil was way over the top. I mean, it was. Um, it was. You know, it was a, it was a bit of a you know a, an experimental eleven from from England. They had um, Anthony Gordon playing one of his first games as well, and it, you know you're playing against Brazil like it's never easy, right? So um, you know it wasn't his best game, but you know look look like. The numbers don't lie, and you know if you're if you're seriously suggesting that Ivan Tony deserves to be in a, a get ahead of Ollie, then you really should be. Uh, and you know, and you have himself. to. I'm, I'm all for rehabilitation and change, but I said you have to look at character, right? Cody Tony just seems like an arrogant prick. He was arguing with his teammate after the game. I know we're in a better position this season, but I mean, you look at Ollie; he's happy to not be taking pens. You know, he knows mm-hmm. that he's probably not the best. At, I do hope that's something you can work on his game. Because if Dougie yeah, is absolutely. sold, well, I would love to see Oli take take pens and maybe he'd finish with thirty plus goals for the season. Um, and he he nearly got another goal right at the end of the match as well. Where yeah, I did he, see that. He, he nearly got a toe in and no, 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 the, it was offside. Keeper. It was offside. It was oh, offside because yeah, yeah. of Bailey. Remember? Yeah. yeah. And right. then I thought he, yeah, yeah. I heard him. I thought he heard himself and said, "Oli, don't be doing stupid shit." Yeah, we need you. I know. We need you. I know. We don't, don't need it. We don't need injuries. Oh, what what what, what, thing, a run, what a run! What a run! Actually, I did hear it's been leaked that we have signed Smith Rowe, and Unai gave him a cheeky fifty to let Ollie push him out of the way. But <laughs> honestly, like Emil Smith Rowe is a pretty like you know he's, he's not small. He's probably bigger than all of us. But I see you know you just see Ollie just like shoulder barge him the whole way from halfway to penalty spot, and then to just dink it. Yeah, it took a fortuitous deflection, but it was actually it was going, it was going in anyway. Yeah, it would have actually gone down the middle and looked even better. But I thought yeah. when it, when he went to chip, I said, "Oh fuck, it's like his other shot. Probably going to hit the post." And then I see it start veering in. I'm like. Hang on a second. But just know what no. makes it though is just when just when all three thousand Villa fans know it's a goal. Yeah, and they, it just oh, erupts. Mate, what, and what the spider cam footage, the spider yes. cam footage, whatever it's called, the drone footage. Yeah, I've seen Villa, and see and Villa, Max's Max's video on Villa it's on tour. Sense. Well, Villa is one of the well. best ones. Villa yeah. shared the spider cam one, that and was it's awesome, just though. it's special. It's it's special, and it's a special season. For us, and we just got to keep it rolling, Scott. Yeah. It's it's it's. And what a bunch yeah, of fans we got! We are a bunch of wild fuckers, man. Like, what a time to be a Villa fan. Well, no, it's, it's true. Like, we we support no, the club through thick and thin. And um, with with silly question. So you know, we qualify for Champions League. Do, are we going to be investing money into building out the stadium? Because that's got a big part to do with. Well, the, the, the reason they stopped it is so we wouldn't have a half stadium if we got Champions League. That's the reason they stopped it. But there was yeah. some there was some news this week about that about um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think we've we've um, 
we've had some sort of sponsorship or something, or or I think the owners have bought a company where people are linking the two. I, I can't remember the story. Yeah, Maybe yeah, someone I, I in the get, comments yeah. will, will know what I'm talking about. But that some people were su suggesting that this could open up the – that they might have delayed it because they want this to happen first. So I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the stadium is good as it is really. But, I mean, obviously – I love bigger, going to Villa Park. I love it. The bigger it's, it is, more um, – yeah, more uh, – so V Sports. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so – let us know what what that's all about, Michael, because I, I don't remember. But um, uh, look, um, look as, as for me watching the game, why I also this is my favorite game for a long, long time is because as the game was like going on and we got through this a unbelievable onslaught from um, Arsenal and we grew into the game. I'm just thinking with 15 minutes to go, I'm like, if they score now and we lose one 0 this is going oh, to feel like shit. All the hard work. Yeah, it's going to be such a gut punch. And I said, I'd take a point, but we deserve more than a point. Come on. Like, yeah, please, yeah. If, if any time we deserve to just stick one in right now, it's and when it went in, you could see that, like, the limbs of the of the away support. It reminded me of Brighton when Jack equalized. It reminded me of Rotherham. It reminded me of these games over the years where we've built up, built up, built up, and then something happens. We have a massive result. And you just think, oh shit, it's happening! It is yeah. happening! And this felt like one of the. We're not moments. used to this. We're not used to this, right? It's like it's like it's like they say: if you've been with toxic partners all your life, they go. When you finally see love, you're not used to it. It's like we're not used to being almost this big four club. I don't even think we think like a big four club mm. right now. Right now, we are top four. Right, that's where we sit, and you know we are clear top four. Tottenham have the that's game it. in hand, and I know we'll probably touch on that shortly, right? But like three points plus three goal difference, it's a great position. How everything can turn within a matter of weeks. But that's it. They've got some really difficult games, and um, you know we we've just knocked off one of our most difficult game, probably our most difficult game left, yes. and we've got three points from it. So um, you know, going into the likes of Bournemouth and Brighton and these games that are coming up in the league, then you know we're we're going to be like hopefully like, firing. You know what Villa are like, right? Bournemouth are a good fucking side. They're erratic. Yeah, you don't know what to expect. Side. And didn't they clean us last last year or was it started this season? First game it was last Gerard, year. Gerard's first game. Okay, first game last, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start, yeah. That's right. Bournemouth um, are a good side, man. Solanke's in tip-top form. But that being said, I do 17 have goals from the season, Solanke. 17 goals. Yeah, he's doing well, mate. Not missing about. How did, not missing how did about. we go away from home against them? 2-2 two, two draw. Watkins with the late equaliser. Yes, right. the header, right. the header. Yeah. But then we missed mm. the chance at the end, and then they, they had a shit ton of chances. I remember. Yeah, Emmy, the, didn't we Emmy hit the was post three votes. Or yes, yes, we, we hit, hit the, the post. End. Yeah, right, right at the end. end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's again, another one. But points dropped. Yeah, but Villa Park's a different atmosphere, guys. And speaking about yeah. another one, what about Luca Digne with his like another one? Another one. one. I, I love, love it. it. They <laughs> made a whole compilation of it the other day. I just love it every time. Oh, it goes to show how much we, how many times we've won because he said it quite a few times. I saw it now. Absolutely, and, another great player. Everyone said, he, everyone said, oh, um, oh, what did they say? They said underrated comment or whatever, unpopular opinion, but he's worth the wages. And literally, every comment's like not unpopular at all. He's always been worth the wages, and probably puts in a shift every game. He's not young, and he's got a peg on him. I do think with the free kick, you should have gone for power, not placement. Yeah, I mean it was oh. probably a bit close, but you know he's our free kick taker, so yeah, you got to let it. You got to let him take them. I great guess. player but, though, but Moreno was a great sub on left wing. I thought he actually done pretty well. Yeah, something he did different. very well. Yeah, some different. I think so. Everyone, Zaniola. Like, I think Zaniola they, cemented that spot. Now it's his to lose. Yeah, I hope he he starts. Um, I think you, I think I don't think I don't think the starting lineup will change. And, Diaby looks pretty good as well. I think Bailey's almost now back to what we're going back to what works, right? Bailey is the super sub, so much energy. Mm. Like, and he just rinsed the left back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Diaby was good. Diaby was really good. And, um, you know, we, we've got these options now where we can like mix and match for different games if we want to. And, um, yeah, everyone's sort of coming back slowly. And we kind of, you know, Cash is back on the bench now as well. So if we want to play Cash right back, that's an option coming, coming forward. And, um, you know, it's looking great. So, um, you know, it's. I mean, I, I'm just absolutely buzzing. This has been. Same. You know, it's crazy. Did, one anyone, of the, did, one did anyone barely? Did anyone barely sleep? Or was it just me? Because I didn't go to oh. bed till like four, four thirty. 
I know. I could, yeah, I, I had about three or four hours sleep. It was just like, how am I going to sleep? I've got to watch everything. I've got to listen to everything. I mean, when when we lost 4 0 to Spurs, you know, I couldn't listen to any football podcasts. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I had to shit like, week, man. switch off, you know, and I thought, yeah. fucking hell, this is typical Villa. We're going to fucking like throw it in the in the bin after it was such a great well, season. Well, my best mate, Sam. My best mate Sam, his boss Jono. So I'll say, hey, Jono from TCN. He's a uh, he's a big Spurs fan, and so now we're we're doing some work deals anyway. And he goes, he goes, Villa, huh? He goes, gonna be going down to the wire. Go Spurs. And I I, I called my mate Sam. So I see, I go in the office. I go, yeah. I go ask Jono. He, he, I go ask him about the soccer on the weekend. Jono goes, tell him to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that so, was a great that was a great result and a great start to the weekend. Um, oh, you know, absolutely. that early kickoff over here in um oh, the in Australia. We love them. We love oh, those the seven thirty over here in WA. Uh, it's a perfect prime I, time kickoff, and um, we uh, uh that was a great start to the Saturday night watching you know um what? Newcastle win four 0 you know what I noticed, Scott? And this just progressively over the season and it just came into full effect, right, and in fruition on the weekend. We really frustrate teams defensively. Like, we are really hard to break down. Once we're breaking down, the floodgates open. But just getting that first one through and then it's like, you know, you're getting through this defence and Torres is actually he's a great defender now. Carlos, a weapon, Consa. I actually think Consa's a right back solely for corners because we are piss weak on them lately. I thought we defended yep. the Arsenal ones great. I, I don't yep. know if anyone noticed, but I think Oli got two or three defensive clearances out, out of the he box. Do, he does that all the time. He's an absolute he's one, dog on He's defense. one of our best at defensive corners. Well, like, he, he's so good. If anyone's probably the best judge of the ball, it would probably be him, right? Like he gets mm. paid to put the ball in the back of the net yeah, and measure yeah. the ball. Yeah. And he's always in that near post area where you know he's you got to do a lot of a lot of work on on corners. And um, yeah, he's he's amazing. Like just he just brings so much to the team, and he's a perfect Unai Emery centre forward. You know, yeah. I, I can't really think of anyone better that for his. I mean, do you think Harland could do all the work? Well, you know. Gary yeah, he Neville does. said it. Not Gary Neville, Roy Keane. Someone said it. They go, he's a bad player. He just knows where the back of the net is. And yeah, it's I don't, true. I like, don't, mm, I don't not believe really. I know he's got good IQ. He's but, not a bad but, player. Well, I, th I think I think he's a goal machine. That's probably how – if you used to describe what's what's Harlan's best trait, you say his ability to find the back of the net. If you said what's mm -hmm. Ollie's best trait, everyone would be like, well, which one do I pick? Well, I mean, the thing with Harland is like when he played at Borussia Dortmund and they were more of a counter-attacking sort of get the ball forward quickly team instead of a possession team, he used to get one-on-one -on -one and, you know, just rinse people. Like, you know, if you though. actually can get him the ball quickly, like we would, you know, perhaps, you know, but I wouldn't swap him for Ollie really. Well, I mean, you answered it with you answered it yourself, Scott, right? Swap him, put Harlan at Villa and Ollie at City, and I can tell you whose production will greatly improve. Like Villa are good, but also, you know, we're not just dominating all the game. And Oli's got all this constant service, and now he's worked on his finishing. He's great in front of goal. Um, I, th I saw the commentator say something, and it was about Rogers, how him and Wally, uh, Wally, Ollie actually can complement each other really well because yep. um, Ollie's good at dragging players away, and he'll always bring yep. two players with him. And they go, well, with Ollie, you don't know if he's going to present or drag you out. And then what Rogers is actually doing now is he's feeding off that and finding the little pockets. Because you don't realize mm -hmm. how many times Rogers finds pockets. He's got to be better off at giving it earlier. Though. I saw him dribble one, two, three, four, turn it over. I said, Rogers, you know, like you're not that guy yet. No, no yeah, but I mean, think about where he's come from. He's a young player. Yeah, that came from that, the that, championship. That's excitement. That's excitement. You know, but I said, like, you know, except, Arsenal, yeah, I know, I know, I know what you mean. Like, you know, one, he will get better. He will get better, and he'll yeah. he'll he'll sort it out. But the confidence that Emily yeah. has put in him um, just shows what a talent he is and how highly he's rated at this football club. Oh, what a massively. bargain. The what are we getting for? Getting too. What are we getting for, Noah? I think it's stuff. 15 million. Yeah. Plus five add-ons. I think yeah, it's like think 7 might... million up front and then add-ons on top of that maybe. I don't really know. Mate, pay, pay whatever they details. are. Pay them Exactly. Man. I would. I would. What a step up for him, by the way. Of all clubs, he's not joining a, a Brentford or a, or a Palace. No offence, this shit. But, you know, like to come to a club like Villa, crazy fan base, Probably one of this, is probably the best Villa I've seen in a very long time. I don't think we're finishing top four in the Ashley Young and Agbonla Hall days during Martin O'Neill's. We didn't, tenure. we didn't. No, no. the best right. we got so was six or yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd say, uh, like, is Emery the best manager we've had in the last 30 years? I think it's uh, he's the best manager we've had since uh, since we won the 
won yeah, the league, the cup. won the European Cup. You yeah. know, uh, Ron Saunders and Tony Barton. You know, back in the early eighties, because um, you know he he's just you know, look at his CV. He's won everywhere he's gone apart from Arsenal. You know, even at PSG, where people said he, you know he failed, he still won the French league. He still he did. You know, well, yeah, Pochettino not- didn't win the French league. Yeah. PSG. Yeah, and, and 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 he's highly regarded with uh, with Emery, right? This was his thousand and one game, right? So it's not a new a way, not a bad way to start the new millennium. Congratulations, Unai! Uh, exactly, thousand games as a manager. That's a lot of games and good clubs, mind you, right? Like he didn't. He, we this isn't his big break. No, no, That's it's it. so and, good. Credit and to him. And he does it with sort of like under understated clubs as well, like Seville and and Villarreal. That's a good you know, manager um, spot. Yeah. You know, and uh, I think somewhere like Villa is perfect for him. We're 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 a big club that's gone through years and years of disappointment, and you know, just underwhelming results and positions, a relegation. And he he came in and he said, right, I've got a real project here. You know, I'm not going to be you know hounded by the media like you know a Ten Hag or a or a Pochettino or that's right like that. under the radar. Gets to do mm. what he wants. He can mix it up. He can make mistakes, and he'll probably get forgiven. You know, you're not. He, bring, he brings in Monchi. He bring, you know, he brings All in his, his own players. He's got the band back together. It's yeah, lovely. Good. And it's I'm not uh, complaining at all. Um, you know, do, you pa- reckon, do you reckon with Villa, Torres, yeah, Rogers, do, yeah. It's been... do, you reckon, do you reckon with Villa Scott that with um with Emery, it's it's almost like a chip off his shoulder. He knows that if he goes to another club, he's like, oh shit, I've got to go through all this again. And he's got a family, right? Like it probably takes a toll on him. So with Villa, it's probably the perfect place. I do find it funny that he was a big Peaky Blinders fan, and now he's in Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah, we should get Birmingham. him one of those caps, like a Coupe de Villa. Um, fat imagine him cap. wearing that. Imagine him wearing <laughs> one of those. Fantastic. Like, oh, like, oh, he, what do you mean? He could pull off the Godfather vibe so pretty easily. Mafia. That's it. Um, Okay, so what is the percentage that we finish in top four now, boys? Well, give me your give me your percentage oh, uh, that we finish top 70, four. 65 percent. 82 percent. 82. You got to look I'm at fixtures. Say, you got to look at fixtures and the goal difference and the three points. It's I'm going to say 55. I think it's still close, mm. but but yeah, I think we will. Um, I think but, 65. Okay, what's your, what's your percentage? We'll finish top five. Hundred percent. Not, not, yeah, like 97 percent. Yeah, yeah. I, think I would say, yeah, I'd say ninety five, ninety seven percent. I would laugh. I, I, I would laugh. Fuck off, Jack. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sixty percent. I think that was from the. That's a lot. I think that was from the top four, mate. Yeah. Just, yeah, but no, no, sixty percent. Right. I know, but I'm saying I'm, I'm always crazy optimistic. What I, what I would say is, fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. Shit. It's all right. Go on. I'll come back to me. Well, this As time, th- this time in oh. two week, in two weeks time. Right, we could be uh, nine points clear of Tottenham because they they don't play for two weeks, right? Yeah. So they don't play next week. Why is and that? And then because the FA Cup. So, right. so I think they had, I know Chelsea or Man City or something, and that game got delayed, right? So we and then and then the following weekend when they do play, we play before them. So we play. Uh, we we play against Bournemouth and Chelsea. We could be ahead of them by nine points and put right? the pressure on them. Yes, they'd have three games in hand, but um, that's still a lot to make up. You got you to win your games in hand, Scott. They, they well, and you saw Liverpool and Arsenal, right? City won, and they'll just cruise. And, and Liverpool will think, "Oh yeah, we'll be we'll be Palace. It's at home." Arsenal like, "Oh, we'll be Villa. It's at home." And what yeah. happens? I said, I said, I said, playing later on actually adds further pressure, especially if results don't go your way. Absolutely, and and especially when it's back to back tough games, and they're gonna they go through a period where they've got, um, uh, I think it's, uh, what, I think it's Arsenal next, and then I think it's Chelsea. Well, two. Can you two have you got those? No, I was gonna okay. say I was gonna say. Johnny, I get I, the fixtures. What do you Duncan want? Goes, yeah. Duncan said no, we could finish just, third. Spurs but, fixtures. Duncan said we could finish, we could finish third based on how Liverpool's playing. And to be honest, I, I, I think Liverpool have been shit. Also, we kept that strong uh, London record, right? Didn't we have like an undefeated we lost run in London? London? You haven't That's lost right. in London this season, I don't, yeah. I don't believe. I bumped well, Dun- Oz- Duncan thinks we'll get third. If Liverpool play the way they, they do. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I think, look, Born it's all about just game. finishing in Champions League and winning the Europa Conference, really, for me. Um, I'm, I'm so glad our next game's at home. But I'm so glad our next game's at home, by the way, against Bournemouth. I think that makes the world a difference. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I'm happy to play the big teams away, but the small teams, I want them at Villa Park all day. Yeah, so this is what Spurs has to deal with. Oh. Um, Arsenal wow. away, Arsenal at home, Chelsea away, Liverpool away, Burnley, City away. and then I'm Sheffield telling you, away. they're going to so, draw with – they'll draw with Burnley. I bet they'll pull a win out of their ass of the first three and they'll draw with Burnley. Burnley are, Burnley play well. Uh, you think they're going to win those first three? Tottenham. I know. I said, I said they'll win. They might win one. one. of them. Like, well, I think Liverpool, yeah. they might even do Liverpool. Chelsea are actually like a little bit of a menace. I actually always see, obviously, it's a derby. They've always seen you get after a derby, so. That's right. Mm. But um, what I was going to say is I said I would laugh if we finished fourth, we've done all this hard work, and then the fifth spot gets granted the Champions League as well. Look, it doesn't matter. And doesn't I don't want to leave it to yeah, that. I don't want to find loopholes. And it, it's actually good for us if that happens because that means that we've got more of a chance of next year, fifth being you know, um, Champions League for England as well. Yeah, mate. Next you know, year we we're got going more chance. For... What What are we going for next year? It's gone. Mate, we're we're yeah. going for. We are going the for Champions the League. No, we're going for the EPL. We're going Champions. for the EPL. And Champions. there's a chance if we get Champions League, I'm going to be over in England in September, and there's going to be group stage. Yeah. European football. But Noah so might be, be flipping League. the coin before the game. Who do you get, Matt? Who do you, <laughs> yeah. who do you, who do you want? Do who do you Who want? I want anyone? I just want to be Lute, there when Lute, they're playing Lute. the anthem. No one wants a really exciting game. Ludogrets away. Do you know what, who would be cool? Bayern Munich, just for the history, because that's who we three beat. Million in the them final. Going to Villa Park. Like, three yeah. million. Did you hear, see Darren's comment? Three extra million for playing for finishing fourth. That's a lot of strippers. That's that's insane. That's a full and and that's uh, a lot Emery, of paella for Emery, uh, for Torres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that after a win? What's that? What's what he said? After uh, he, a win. He's after a had win. a lot of pay, paellas this year. He's, he's looking yeah. a bit fat, fat bastard. <laughs> he's married too now, mate. Look at him. It's all coming. Oh, Quarters off. Did you see? Did you see him kicking the ball into the crowd? No. So after, after, game. No, it was after the um the Bailey goal, I think. Um, the Bailey, the ball comes out to him. He's on the ground because he gets floored when he makes that run to the near yeah. post, right? And he kicks the ball into the crowd. It's so so good. Like, he's just bell, like bell sitting there. Yeah, like he's just well, to the oh, Villa fans, like, and he didn't get a card. It didn't get looked at. Nothing. No, he didn't get carded. I don't think. But, that's um, I think that's that a card. Ball. That's a cardable mm. fence. Yeah, bad. What I was going to say ball, is, I don't know if anyone saw, but when you watch the highlights, um, you see Torres is on the ground. And then you see Bailey and you, you see Torres go on the floor. <laughs> I did like, say that this morning. It I was funny. I thought it was good. Yeah. I did say that. No, okay, the other big question is like, will Ollie get the Premier League golden Play boot? Play of the season. Yeah. Uh, and no, and I'll get, of the season. we'll get to, I think we'll of the get to that as well. Yeah. Okay, My player dad. of the season and goal. Can he get them both? I think so. I think Harlan's a piece yes, of shit. Yes, I think he can. But I think he needs a... He needs a hat trick, I think. It only sounds like one of his last games. Tournament three two. We'll be down two nil. It's going to happen. All but I think he's you know, he had one Premier League hat trick this season. If he gets two, I reckon he's he's going to do it. But, he just needs to be ahead. Just needs to be ahead of Harland. You, you know, you know what I'm pissy about. I wish City well, were like ten. One ahead. One I wish ahead, City. Yeah. I was going to say I wish City were ten points clear because then they probably would have rested Harland in the Prem. Well, they did against yeah. us. So do it again. Yeah, but that's different yeah. now. Now now they've got more to play for. They need him primed. So now I wonder if there's going to be friction, right? Is it Harlem wanting to play for the Prem and all the accolades and stats, Golden Boot, or are they, is, is it going to be Pep getting he's the best? He's been there, done that. Well, he's, he's Pep going to say... About his, he's more worried oh. about his Champions League record. Yeah. His, Champions his Champions League, League record, record, it's insane. insane. Yeah. What goals? He scored, he scored more goals than games. Than games, right? yeah. He's going he's for actually, that Ronaldo he, record. He's a goal machine. He really is. Yeah, he is. He is absolutely. But, you know, yes, um, yes, for, from a personal point of view, I mean, it'd be so good to see Ollie get the golden boot or the player of the year. Um, I think the golden boot is probably more likely. I think, you know, the, the people in the media will, will probably give it to I think player of the Odin. year, player of the year, he's got, like, at the moment, 19 goals, 10 assists in the league. I think Harlan. I know, I know like going by stats, but it's an opinion based thing, right? And they're going to go the for, you know, if Man City win the league, they'll give it to probably Foden. Yeah, no, I see that. But well, anyway. I don't, I don't it's know. almost like NBA. It's almost like NBA now, right? You could be having amazing stats, but if your team doesn't win that championship in the finals, you're not even looked at. So, yeah. but I, I do yeah. think you have to look at a range of things. I would laugh if we make four. I think Emery's uh, manager of the season for sure. 
I think he's Def- probably definitely. Uh, definitely and, then, and then is that the narrative contender. they go with? Is that the narrative they go with saying, well, you know, if Emery's manager of the season, well, then we have to look at who he's got and who got him there. Well, it's literally just Ollie Watkins. What about Eric Ten Hag? He's pretty good, man. Oh, no, sorry. He's not. He's terrible. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, he's gone, and, and it'll be like a someone who was it? Deserby to United. I've called it. It's going to happen because Brighton shit this year. Brighton okay. is struggling. Oh, if Luton stay up, Rob Edwards is worth a shout. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that. I don't happen, think I'll stay up though. I, but they, they, they he, 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 should, he should be in it. He should be in the conversation. Who Luton bottled it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but weren't they up they, the other day? Then they they've got, they've got, they've got they the won. budget. They no, beat. Forest, Forest came back. They came back and drew. I was rooting for Wolves. Yeah, yeah, no. I'd like, to, I'd like to see. Um, I'd like to see Luton stay up. Yeah. Just because they, you know, they got that cool stadium where you can um, go in the back of someone's garden. You know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, so this is the, this bottom, is the Premier League, and look look at the race for six. That's really interesting. Um, behind us, you know, uh, you got Newcastle, United, West Ham, maybe even Chelsea. Nah. No. Nah. They're done, mate. Uh, yeah. But um, isn't that a beautiful thing just to see? And, um, you know, people say we're in bad form, but if you look at that form, only one loss in the last five, you know. Literally the same um, record as Liverpool. It's exactly. just a different, yeah. two wins, two draws and a loss. It's just in a different order. And if anything, exactly. we took that loss. Who was the draw? Oh, the draw was Brentford. It's like Brentford, yeah. I think we needed the bubble to pop at a certain point and then restart again. And that happens, mm. right? Brentford was fucking shit. Yeah. Brentford still and shit. This, I and see and that. we we needed a statement result. You know, we hadn't got a statement I result said, for I said, a while. I said in the the podcast, I think Rose just gone. We we drew a big scalp. We really mm. were due a big scalp, and we finally got one. We had to win one. We had to either beat Liverpool or Arsenal, and I'm very happy we beat Arsenal. Very happy. That's amazing. All right, should we do predictions for uh, Bournemouth, boys? Yes. Or, or Lille's second leg? Have we done them? Well, should I? I've got a video from Owen to play. He's going oh, to yes. France, obviously, midweek. Yes. Play the oui, oui. Yeah. Which oui, one do you want me to play? I've got his. Got the front no, for I, France. No, no, just fucking pick one, mate. Huh? Uh, give, give us the Lille. Um, yeah, give us Anyways, the Lille. we're going to head to the more important stuff. Me and many others are heading to France on Wednesday and Thursday next week. I know Max and Simon are heading out on the Wednesday. I'm heading out with a couple on the Thursday morning. Uh, that should be one hell of a trip. There's still all to play for in that one. <clears throat> I'm I'm glad we've got the one goal lead. Uh, it's something to hold on to, but I still want us to go and have a go. If we pop in the first goal, that should be us through. But you just never know. You just never know. Emery knows what he's doing with European football. We've seen it before. He's won everything there is to win. But it's going to be a fun trip. It's going to be messy. It's going to be silly. I just hope we get the job done and that could top off a quite ridiculous few days for the Vip boys. But that's all from me. Enjoy the podcast, guys. Keep doing all the best work you can. Up the villa. Love you, Owen. Love oh, it. Man. Love it. And um, He's a great man. We haven't, we haven't played his other one yet of uh, the game. Do you want to put that? Is that... Yeah, I got the one from... The the tall Arsenal game. All right. So this so this is um this is Owen's really? roundup of the game yesterday. Um. So take it away, Owen. How would you how did you guys go at the Emirates? Give us your rundown. So obviously, as I'm sure it's been covered on here already, uh, it was a pretty pretty special day. We uh, I don't think many of us had the uh, three thousand in the away and had any sort of hope or optimism. I thought we were just going to get pasted, but. The, the, the What I find with Villa now, you just never know what you're going to get. We could score 10, we could concede 10, we could concede 10 in about five minutes, and you know what we're like. But I actually thought we played brilliantly. Uh, first half, we were up against it a little bit. However, we did have our chance with Watkins, and uh, me and many others thought it was in when it came off the post. Uh, but no, we got to half time, and I thought there's a, there's a good chance here. We just need to nick one. It was always going to be a bit of a smash and grab job. Anyway, second half comes about, and Arsenal went a lot flatter. We had a lot more of the ball. We we created some more chances, got down the down the sides a lot more. Um, and then moving on to the first goal, it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a freak goal actually. I think it must be second phase from a corner or something because 
Torres being in the position he was when the ball gets fist across the box blows my mind. So I need to watch it back properly. But yeah, Bailey was there right behind it, smashed it in. The away end went absolutely balmy. People falling over each other. And just as you can imagine, I'm sure there's some of you will have seen the video on uh, on Twitter of the camera film in the away end as well. And that was just ridiculous. Um, and by the time we just about somewhat calmed down from the first goal, Watkins is in again for the second. And the four Watkins is in at the moment. He just made it look so, so easy. He sat Smith Rowe down. He sat the keeper down. He clipped it over the two of them. 2-0. People are flying down the stairs. People don't know what to do with themselves. And, and that just topped off an unbelievable day. I don't think I watched much more of the game after the second goal. And we were just winding Arsenal fans up, singing songs, just having the most unreal time. Wow, what an experience. Absolutely fantastic. What I'm burning. Great... I'm burning we weren't there. I know. I, I'm going to go after this and watch the game again, I think, because... Uh, <laughs> I, I was watching uh, it before. I, I watched the full game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that would have been such a brilliant atmosphere. So good. Thanks for that, Owen. Thanks for contributing. Um, and we will have you on again soon before the end of the season because uh, we just love that. We just love to, you know, be a part of it, you know, over here in Australia you know, getting up at all hours in the morning. It's it's tough. It's tough to be a Villa fan sometimes because you get up and you see some terrible shit. You see some good shit, though, as well. <laughs> and when it, when it happens like that, like last night, it makes it all worth it. So uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, Darren's got a question here. No, away goals do not count. Not in anymore. The Euro- not anymore. So it's a good job uh, because 2-1 with away goals is a lot more scary. Um, oh, look. Scotty UK. Scotty says, there uh, you Owen go. And Max. Well, next time you uh, you're in the hole, just say hi from from us because no one <laughs> knows Max really well, um, and uh, and Owen of course, and um, they yeah just say that oh you know the the Coop de Villa boys uh, say hello and um, up yeah the villa. do it up the villa Very for good. sure. So, um, all right, we talked about it, I think, on the last video, but I'm going to repeat. Tam didn't get the I notification. Think... Sorry, Kieran Smith didn't get his notification. That's right. You can review it all later. It was a joke <laughs> yeah. about tits. It was a joke about tits. <laughs> That's it. Tommy talks about how um, it was like sucking on a, f- on a fresh pair of tits uh, I didn't last say night. sucking, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I, uh, I, I, I just read between the lines there a little bit. But, I, you know, um, look, um, what, what else was I going to say? Um, okay, Lil away. I'm saying we win on penalties. I'm putting it out there. Oh, Scott. Lil away. Penalties. It's going to be a nil-nil draw. And we wow. go through. And it's going to be limbs. It's going to be good. And I think 1,252 beers will be consumed in yes. Paris. Noah, your prediction's not that. far from mine because I'm going with 4-1 to Villa. <laughs> wow, 4 I think we're going to okay. fucking plow them. It happened. <laughs> Who was that other team we done? The Polish one that looked like a Wi-Fi password. <laughs> no, nah, we're going four one. It's a statement. I'm telling you, we are, we are, we are flying right now. Mm-hmm. And then, and then leads into Bournemouth. Perfect, two 0 Ollie du- double. So I have we're to get, get my shirt. Kieran, Kieran says we're going to finish fourth and win the Conference League. Yeah. And I said bloody oath, that would be absolutely great. What a what a what a season, season that, that would be. be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I, we're going to have to review the footage. I'm probably have to review it at our pre-season predictions. Now, mm. does anyone actually remember where they had Villa coming? Because I think yeah, I said, I said eight I said, or seven. I said, I said seven. I was the closest. I said fifth. I said so I, I think, think we're going to European football. We have to review it all. We did. You guys who weren't here, we did a whole preseason like prediction on Golden Boot player of the season, most like who we're going to impress by the most, that like, kind of stuff. Mm. I have to go back and review it, but we did where we thought Did's Villa were going to finish Bailey this or season. Kamara. Oh well, and none of us. Kamara, I don't think, has been, said, Kamara has been the most impressive. It's been a season-ending injury that was very impressive. Exactly. Not for the right exactly. reasons though. Yeah, um, yeah, and um, look, um, <laughs> Jim, if we go to penalties, we're nailed for victory 100%. Well, Emmy's bringing out his tactics. I wish Emmy that's true. He's bringing but, it uh, uh, Emmy will bring it home. I back him in. So, yeah, he'll save, well, he'll save them all. You know, they won't score one penalty. We only need to like save one. Ball. Ball. He's actually we're not missing. scary when he, he's actually scary when he's in his zone. I feel like he could kill a person. <laughs> Absolutely. Did you, I loved him when he was going, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. He's done it once. He's done it two more. Good. He's done it two more. Yeah. Was he they wanted, the they wanted a four, but... Was huh? it? Yeah, I think he was doing the Jürgen. That's what Jürgen... No, nah, he's not saying right? the... Yeah, but Rob Edwards does it at uh, Luton okay. as well. It's just a thing, like... Yeah. I uh, think he was extra pumped up. 
Oh, 100%. What did you say? You said 2 0, Tommy? I saw his post match interview. Fuck, no, 2 uh, 0 to Bournemouth, 4 1 to Lil. Uh, against Lil. 2 0 to Bournemouth. 2 0 against <laughs> Bournemouth. Oli double. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying 3 0 against Bournemouth. I'm going to go not 5 0 against Bournemouth, but 3 1 against Bournemouth. Well, you always got to pick a negative right. score, you fucker. What? Well, I pe- I picked Arsenal to win last time, and I, and I, and it worked again. The double bluff worked again. So I'm, I'm not convinced. If we this. get the money for Dougie, we sell him. Don't get me wrong, love the guy, but if FFP comes in, we can we can live without him. Absolutely. I think Kamara's the bigger loss than Dougie right now. And Tillman's just Tillman's complaining. I think that that's role. one of the. I think that's one of the comments of the night because you know I think um, I think he's got a point there, Kieran. If it's, we had to lose one out of Ollie, Dougie. Out of Oli Kamara, I don't want to lose Dougie. any of them. I don't. I don't want to lose any and, of them. I don't. Yeah, I don't okay. want to lose nah, any. And we're, get, and we're it, getting. Um, we will buy Eze. We'll get Eze from Crystal Palace. Oh, that we'll would get be good. Eze, 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 Eze to replace Dougie, and we save about half the money. Imagine that. That'd be or fantastic. Oli, so. but, all right, but well, you know we've come up to an hour now, so that's a good place to wrap the up. The people want more, Scott. The people want more. I'm well, my you'll have to tune in next week. Um and the villa, uh, we, the villa we might be, more tits. Yeah, we'll we'll do probably a little video like we did last week after the Europa conference, just wrapping up yeah. the game, and then we'll go live again after Bournemouth next weekend. So please join us there. It will probably be the same time, Monday evening Australia time. So you know, get check your notifications and we will see you. Next Look who week. it is. Look who it is. Oh, it's Eden. Mohammed Adam. Mohammed Adam, Eid Mubarak, brother. Well, where you been? Uh, Did you guys stop uploading the podcast? You just stop being fucking lazy and join the YouTube <laughs> sessions, mate. We, we, We've done we it at like f- 6 p.m. Norway time for you. We've had a few issues with the uploads on Spotify, but we are going to We are trying to get them back. We are trying yeah. to get them back. We Sorry, are trying. Man. But I'm glad to see you back in the in the chat. Old time fan, Mohammed Adam from... Norway. Good to see you. But up the villa. We'll see you next week. And um, come on, another three points, hopefully. Let's do it. Up the villa. See ya.